Remember this? Where should we build our next pop-up? Do you know a place that deserves a truckload of free books? Well, the votes came in and there were over 6,000 nominations from all over the country. But there could only be one winner. And you chose... Dirin Bandy. Where? Well, it's right here. Yes, literally the back of Burke. Dirin Bandy is a small town that's been doing it tough. It's recently had a long drought. And now to top it off, some big floods. So we gathered up the Bookworld team from Melbourne, Sydney and Brisbane and headed into the outback. The journey was long, hot and treacherous. But we had books to deliver. None of us knew what to expect in this small town in the middle of nowhere. So after we arrived and set up Deer and Bandy's first ever pop-up bookshelf, we were blown away with what happened next. Durin is about a six hour drive from the nearest bookstore. No one really wants to drive a total of 12 hours just to buy a book. A lot of the small businesses, a lot of the properties, which means that a lot of the people in town have been doing it tough with the drought. People were here well in advance of the start time. The response has been enormously gratifying. Kids, they're giggling, they're laughing, they're playing. It's a great little social get-together for the town as well. My favourite author would have to be Roald Dahl. He's really funny. I got Dork Diary. <laughs> well, it's truly an amazing sight that uh, Bookworld are distributing all these books to the community of Durham Bandy. <laughs> <laughs> a wonderful day. So with weary bodies and beaming smiles, we left this little town with thousands of new stories that we hope will provide maybe just a little bit of relief to the people who have been doing it tough for so long. Then it was back on the road and back to Bookworld until our shelves pop up somewhere else. I wonder where that could be.